Anything on the sides hurts. Fuck! All right, guys, so we are back at the shop for another tattoo, but this is a tattoo, and this is a piece that I am so excited to finally bring you guys on. This is the start of the back piece. This is day one out of possibly 10. I have 10 sessions book for this because we are going from pretty much around the neck area all the way down to the lower ash cheeks. That is right. I'm covering the ash cheeks as well. I don't believe a back piece is complete without that other, you know, section done as well. It just adds a lot more space, a lot more surface and a lot more extra into that piece that you can get if you didn't go ahead and do that as well. So, you know, we're going covering the whole thing. It's going to be a long two days. I am a hypocrite that I only got about three hours of sleep, two and a half hours of sleep before this session. I work night shift for anybody that doesn't know and that is new here. I always say to get a good day sleep before the tattoo and uh, I never do that. I don't have the luxury of doing that, unfortunately, but you know, you just gotta make do with what you did. I had a good breakfast at least, so I am uh, I am coming into this tattoo pumped. I got my, you know, just adrenaline's rushing because I am so excited to get this piece done. I feel like this is a piece that everybody's gonna love. It's gonna stand out amongst most and it's gonna be recognizable. Even if you were to stand maybe like 20, 30 feet down the street, you will notice and see and make out what this piece is because that's how I want a back piece to look. It's just, you know, one big piece to stand out, use that all that surface area to your advantage. So I am super excited. Brandon's super excited, and I hope you guys are super excited as well. Like always, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get to it. Let's Just go. Like the street lights lit this town. Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far, don't know how. One thing that sucks about the back is I can't fucking film anything. No, not at all. I don't know what we're touching, where we're doing. All I know is certain spots fucking suck. Ugh, like that, that spot hurts. Ooh. All right, go ahead and hit that fucking uh, timer. What are we at? Definitely. <laughs> Not the way to do it. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. I don't but. know how either. Look at this fucking shit. Look at this. Oh my god. Ah, whatever. Whatever works. <laughs> oh, okay, this this isn't accurate. Okay, That's we, nine and a half hours. We, we, took, we took a lot of breaks. We didn't pause it. We gotta divide well, this by two. Longer? We gotta divide this by two. Uh, it's about 2.40 right now. I left the shop at about 2 o'clock. And it was a good day. We got about nine and a half hours or so. Give or take maybe a couple minutes because we did forget to press the timer on a couple occasions. But this uh, session, we did get a little less done than we usually do around the 10 half hour mark. Just because I had to get up so much in terms of my ass was just killing. The one thing I took from this is the back isn't as painful as everybody makes it out to be. At least that's what I see so far. I know we still got a lot left to do, but from what I've seen already, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. The one thing that sucks is sitting down for so long in the position that I am in. Now, I know people are going to say, why don't you just lie down? The position that I am and Brandon has me in just works better because it stretches the back a little bit more and it's just able for him to go in and work better with the skin. So sitting down for that long just numbs the ass and that is, like I've said in other videos, one of the most painful things to experience. So I had to get up a lot. You know, it was a good day overall. As you guys can see, this is what we got done. Looks good and I can't wait to see what we have in storage. All right guys, and we are back for day two. We are at the shop. As you guys can see, I'm in the room. I have my sister along ready? with me, as you guys seen. No. And uh, you know, it'll be the first time both uh, Mamma Lady's, both sister and brother are in the shop at the same time getting tattooed. So today's a nice special day. Obviously it's gonna be another long day. We're not gonna go too long because again, we got so many sessions to do. I don't think we'll be pushing it to 16 hours like we have in the past on my other pieces. 
Still gonna be a long day. I think we're gonna try to finish off that uh, T-Rex's face and you know the nose, the eye and all that. It looks great, the teeth and everything look awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. It will be me and some of Alexa included in it as well. Hope you like her tattoo and hope you like mine as well. guys so we are kind of midway through second day we're taking a little break we are about what 14 almost 14 hours in we got about let me see if we can see it in the uh, mirror as it is very hard we got the uh, jaw the mouth and some of the eye we've started on now overall second day has been pretty good even though you know I didn't get the greatest sleep in terms of length that's why I always recommend it to you guys I don't do it I don't follow it I know I'm a hypocrite on some of it but I hope you guys are enjoying the piece and the second day so far <music> How would you say, don't sugarcoat it, I've been sitting so far for the whole session, both one day, one and two. From one out of ten? Yeah. 9.5. Oh, really? Yeah. I would have thought I was going to expect like a seven. So we're going to offer it. Ah, fuck. This is no joke, right? Woo! Alright, so I am the first person to ever sleep at Stabby's. I gotta admit, I'm a little freaked out because there are real skulls right up there. We got two to be exact. Real human skulls. And I'm sleeping right beside them. Honestly, I just, uh, I couldn't do it. I, I pushed myself to my absolute limit to the point where I was shaking. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I ended up throwing up too. And, uh. I could have probably went home, it's just we had a big, big snowfall again and uh, I really don't feel like going out and cleaning my car and then driving through a whole bunch of snow when I know I'm not that, uh, that uh, fucking, uh, that energized to do it. So, I mean, that's the first time I ever threw up, this is the first time I ever sleeping in the shop, first time any, anybody's ever sleeping in the shop, uh, but honestly, the tattoo looks astonishing. I don't even think I've used that word before for a tattoo. This is like, I think my favorite tattoo already. There's still so, so much to go. I, I think we still have another eight more sessions. That was only two and look how much we got done. So hope you guys liked it and uh, stay tuned for sessions three and four. And I definitely recommend you guys go watch this video right here of my alien tattoo. One of my best pieces yet on the back of the thigh and another super excruciating painful tattoo as well. This looks like jizz all over your back. Oh, it's cold. Should be hot. You're <laughs> <laughs> just hating me right now, that's all. Oh, I can deal with okay, that. Okay, one sec. Oh, I feel lightheaded there. Oh, I didn't expect this area to be this bad. I did. Really? I thought like lower, more lower inner down. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Anything on the sides hurt. Fuck! Pain's not so bad. Sitting is what absolutely kills right now. Overall, tattoos like six, seven point six and a half, seven out of ten. Sitting is about a seven point five out of ten. So set it, sitting's way worse. All right, so we are about to start. We're gonna be doing, as you guys can see, the background right there. We're gonna get the backgrounds pretty much in, and then we'll uh, see how it goes. I'm not excited for right here, and on the sides, I just know that's gonna kill. But uh, it's gotta get done. I just want you guys to take in how much ink we use. All empty, half empty, half empty. This is not even all of it. That was, yeah, this is just today's. Bro, I threw out like a section of this. Oh, Would man. you say that's some of the most ink you've ever put on somebody in the one session? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 